Hey y'all, it's your girl Sasha E. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing jungle braids slash butterfly braids slash butterfly box braids on my baby sister. So I did them a little past shoulder length because it is summertime and they turned out so cute. So to get started, I did shampoo, condition, and deep condition her hair the night before, and I just put them in some twists to dry. So I'm going to go in with my Shine and Jam Magic Fingers, and I'm just going to apply that to her part, and then I'm just going to go over that with the comb so that her part can be nice and crisp. So to accomplish this style, I use the expression Ghana hair. I picked this up at my local beauty supply store. It was $3.99 per pack. I did use two packs to complete her hair. As you guys can see, each pack comes with three bundles and I use five bundles in all. All right guys, so to prep her hair for braiding, I am adding some shine and jam to the base of her hair. So this is the size of the hair that I'll be using for each braid. So I am going to separate this into three pieces because I'll be feeding it in. You don't have to feed it in if you don't want to. You can certainly do a regular box braid or you can crochet the hair in. So I'm gonna get started by um, just braiding the hair down. Not too much, maybe just a centimeter down. And then after that, I am going to take one of the pieces of hair from her and I'm going to use my pinky to secure that hair. And then I'm gonna place it between my index finger and my thumb. I'm gonna braid it down a little bit and then I'm gonna add that piece of hair along into the braid. And then I'm gonna braid it in just a little bit after feeding it in and I'm gonna add the second piece of hair. I'm gonna place that between my index finger and my thumb. I'm gonna plait it down a little bit, then I'm gonna take that hair and I'm gonna feed that in. And then I'm gonna do the same for the third piece. I'm gonna use my pinky as security. Then I'm gonna place the hair between my index finger and my thumb. I'm gonna braid it down a little bit and then I'm gonna add that loose piece of hair to the plait. And then I'm going to braid it down all together. So for the butterfly um, effect, I'm just gonna take a little bit of hair out of each side of the hair and it's gonna just make a little small loop and then I'm gonna braid it down a little bit more and then I'm going to take out some hair from the other side and then I'm gonna keep alternating which side I take the butterflies out so that it could be really nice and neat. So as you guys can see, I'm just measuring this braid with the other braid that I've done already. And then I'm just gonna take out a small piece and I'm just gonna wrap it around that hair. And then I'll be using nail glue to secure it. So once I'm done wrapping, I'm just gonna get my scissors, you guys, and I'm gonna cut off that excess hair. So I just wanna show you guys again what I did. So I am feeding her hair in. 
So I added some shine and jam to the base and now I am braiding it down to get started. So once I braid it down about a centimeter, I'm going to take one of the sections of hair from her, gonna attach it to my pinky for security and then add it between my index finger and my thumb. I'm gonna braid it down just a little bit and I'm gonna take that hair and I'm going to place it under and braid it in. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the second piece of hair. I'm gonna secure it with my pinky, put it between my index finger and my thumb. I'm gonna take that loose piece of hair and I'm gonna braid it under. And then I am going to do the same with the third piece. I am going to use my pinky for security. I'm gonna place the hair between my index finger and my thumb. I'm gonna braid it down, take that hair that was being held by my pinky, I'm gonna put it underneath, and then I'm going to braid it down. In order for me to get that butterfly effect, I'm going to start by pulling a piece of hair out on each side. So I'm just gonna be pulling each hair out just to get a loop. So that butterfly effect, I'm gonna do that on both sides and then I'm going to work my way down. So once the braid is at the length that I wanted, I'm gonna take a really small piece out and I'm gonna wrap it around the end of the braid and then I'm gonna use the nail glue to secure it. Once it is secured with that nail glue, I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna cut off the excess hair. So once you get to the front section of your hair, you can get as creative as you'd like. I decided to add a few triangle parts to the front section of her hair just to add a little bit more spice and pizzazz. So I am all done with her hair and she is looking so cute. So um, this hair does have a quite a bit of flyaways. So I'm just using my scissors to get rid of as many flyaways as possible. And now I'm going in with my Kiss Edge Fixer and I'm just gonna apply that to her edges. And then I'm going to use that brush that you saw um, to just swoop her edges back. I got that brush from my local beauty supply store. guys so that is it for today's video if you enjoyed be sure to give me a thumbs up 
Also, leave me a comment if you have any questions about today's hairstyle. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!